next, I am going to show how I spread my squares in five minutes. Take it and learn from me stupid ass stories. The lion and the mouse. Once when the lion was asleep, a little mouse ran up and down to him. This woke the lion up. He quickly grabbed the mouse in his huge paw. Hold on, all king of this. Forgive me. I shall not do it again. I was going to eat you, but you are for forgiveness. I will let you go. You all can in the future and I will be able to help you. The aunt was tickled at the idea of the mouse helping him. How could the mouse tell the mighty lion? Some time later, the lion had got caught in a trap. The lion moaned and groaned. The hyena, the lion's enemy, laughed at his misfortune. Uh -huh, you will die. The mouse happy to pass by. She saw the lion. Let me help you. Let me leave. It's my turn to help you. And she filled the rope of the net, allowing the lion to be free. Thank you, my little friend. I will not forget that. Don't you ask for your help me. The moral from this story is that little friends are as important as the big and strong. The boys and frogs. Some boys saw some frogs in a pond. They thought it would be great spot to help them with stone. The stone went down and they killed some of the frogs. One of the frogs randomly released his head from the water. Hey, stop, boy. What frog you is there to us anymore? The boys laughed and threw a final stone, killing the final frog. The moral of the story is that what we do in sport often makes trouble for others. The boy who cried wolf. There once was a boy who looked after sheep on the side of a mountain in his village. It was a lonely job for him and he had got born. He thought of a plan to get some company. I know, I will pay a little trip on the village. He rushed the village, calling, Rob, Rob! The villagers rushed to meet him and they thought to ask him questions. They spent the ball really happy. He tried to say to the next time he was born and lonely. Rob, Rob! Once again, they rushed to help him and then he asked about the wolf. He laughed as he told them of his feet. They were angry and walked back to the village, complaining. Shortly after this, a wolf did come from the nearby forest and began to chase the sheep. The boy shot again. Ah, wolf, help me, wolf! This time, the villagers rushed on the village. They had been cold to us and had a little bit of wolf again. The wolf had a dead fish when the boy comprehends the village. Why is that talking? A liar will not be believed even when he does speak the truth. The crow and the fox. A fox once saw a crow fly off with a piece of cheese in its beak and settled on a branch of a tree. <laughs> that for me as I am a fox. And he walked up to the foot of the tree. This is cool. How well you are looking today. How fancy your feathers, how bright your eyes. I feel sure your voice is more beautiful than another bird. Let me hear a song so that I can call you the queen of birds. The crow was pleased and proud. She lifted up her head and began to call her bed. Ah, ah. But the moment she opened her mouth, the piece of cheese fell to the ground only to be snapped up by Master Fox. That was all I want. In the exchange for your cheese, I will give you a piece of advice. Do not trust better. The man above and then donkey. A man, his son, were going to the market with their donkey. 
as they were walking, a farmer passed them. Hey, you fool! What is the donkey for? You should ride it to the market. So the man put his boy on the donkey, and they continued their journey. They passed a group of women. See, the lady boy, he made his father walk on his right. Ha ha ha! The man didn't know what to do. He climbed the donkey and the boy walked alongside. More travelers saw them. Shame on you, old man, for letting the little son go while you ride. So the man lifted the boy from off the donkey with him as they reached the town, but before we began to play. Why do you all the donkey? Pick you on your son. It must be your time. The man and the boy got talk and thought about what to do. They tried to lift the donkey and put their shoulders and go around them. He pulled up. The donkey kicked its leg and they dropped the donkey in. It fell off the roof and into the river below. Consequently, it drowned. That you think you try to get off and you will get off.